Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday afternoon, getting some things done. we got our live stream at 5 o'clock this evening, and I hope you guys will tune in. It is a Zoom call, so if you are a channel member, you can be part of the call. So definitely check us out at 5. So I want to end this because, see, Eagles fans are feeling themselves right now. They are literally going crazy. They think they're the greatest team that's ever played football, that they've already won the Super Bowl and things like that. And they think everybody wants to be part of them. Because Micah Parsons went to the Phillies baseball game, they assume that he wants to be a Philadelphia Eagle. Well, I want to go ahead and end this right now. Right now. Let's, let's end this because y'all are so full of it. It, it. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. There is no way, no how, that Micah Parsons wants to be a Philadelphia Eagle. I know he's from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. He's from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. But his father was always a Dallas Cowboy fan. And I've got two videos here to prove my point. First video we have is the draft call. When the Dallas Cowboys called him and said, Micah, <laughs> we going to draft you and you going to be a Dallas Cowboy. Let's see the disappointment on him. Woo, Dallas baby. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, he, he really looks looks upset about becoming a Dallas Cowboy. Hey, you remember Jalen hit, hit you up? Jalen hit you up. You said it's gonna be a pleasure. It's gonna be a pleasure. Woo! 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. You're still not convinced. <laughs> you see him jump up on him. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, he literally looks upset about becoming a Dallas Cowboy. If you're still not convinced, how about this? How about this? From Terrence Parsons, Micah's father. I got to interview him last off season about the situation. Let's listen to it from his dad. The big picture, you know, I knew he wants to go to the league. He's on pace to graduate. He's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Now, did I think he was going to go in the first round? Nah. Because, you know, he only had two years of football in him. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, I don't know. But then the talk kept going, mm -hmm. and I knew the draft was going to be it. Mm -hmm. I said, if he runs a 4-3, he's locked in. Yeah. He's locked in. I knew that. And, you know, his nickname was the water boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> younger like Bobby Boucher. Yep. The water boy. His very first year he would tackle everybody. His teammates, the other players. Like we would have to let him go get him off the field because he just wanted to play. Mm -hmm. But the water boy that came from his first game down in Carlisle, it was raining heavy. He was a running back and he looked up like a 35 yard run. He got tackled in the mud and he just hopped up and ran back to the huddle. And I said, Oh, we got a good one. You know, little kids at that age, they don't like getting wet and being all muddy. Not him. He, it didn't even bother. He just jumped up, went back to the house, said, oh, we got a good one here. Oh, my goodness. It didn't even bother me. And then that just stuck with him. So you know? when he decided that he was going to go ahead and go pro that third year, did you guys discuss it? Or was there you know, any trepidation or anything on that? I mean, he had his pros and cons. But we just want him to know at the end of the day, you're going to support your decision. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is your life. You know what I mean? My it's main coming. goal at this it's point coming. is are you still on pace to graduate? Mm -hmm. He's like, yes, in December. That's all that matters to me. So getting that degree was more important than him getting to the NFL? Yeah, because nothing's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. But if you get that degree, that's guaranteed paper in hand. Mm -hmm. You know, you're part of a great alumni base, you know. The work field, having a job should be good for you. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So once you got that in hand, whatever the NFL does or doesn't do, mm -hmm. you got that degree to fall back on. Amen. See, I can see you definitely instilled a lot of, of what Micah Parsons definitely is. So take me, and I don't want to take up too much of your time and things. Oh, we're good. We're good? Okay. Take me to draft night. So, you, you know, you weren't sure where he was going to go. Did you have any thought that it would be the Dallas Cowboys? Mm -hmm. No, but true story. So yeah. the same weekend I went up to California, uh -huh. we were talking. He said, well, Dad, you know I'm going to be a cowboy. Oh. I said, oh, I love this now. Okay. I said, man, go ahead. You're always playing games. He said, don't think about it, Dad. I graduated from Harrisburg, mm -hmm. where you graduated from, because he had transferred schools yeah. middle of his junior year. He said, I went to Penn State, your favorite college team. Right. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. It, it was written, I'm going to be a cowboy. I said, okay, if you say so. So at the draft, I'm looking at where it's at. I'm looking like, yeah. Because now I'm looking at, after the combine, after he ran the 439, I said, oh, he's not going to fall that far. Because, you know, I'm from, I'm from the area where you pick the best available player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The cowboy's sitting at 12. No, they're sitting at 10. Mm-hmm. I'm not taking away nothing from nobody. If you're taking the best available player, yeah. there's not nine guys better than Michael Parsons in the draft. So by the looks of it, <laughs> you he, can't argue that. <laughs> he's not gonna go to the he's not gonna go to the Cowboys. But he made a mark after the cotton bowl. He said, Hey, I want to start my NFL career where my college career ended. Mm -hmm. and I was in Dallas. Again. Wow. So you know, when he says you can bet on me being in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm like, taking that. I like hearing that. I, I, so, I'm not going to say what year is going to happen for him because he, he, 
he's always trying to do it the right yeah, way. You, got, mm-hmm. you know, you, always been humble, just nice. playing with the talents he was blessed with. Mm-hmm. And now that he's learning the little things, it just makes him even better. Like he was already blessed, you know, with natural stuff. Like we wasn't in the backyard handing the ball off, you know, working in the dirt. We just signed him up and let him play. Wow. Okay. So he's been playing on natural ability for most of his life. But now getting to learn hand movement and placement, feet working, really learning that, that makes him a dangerous player now. So, all right. So, yeah. So, Eagle fans, Eagle fans, let it go. Micah Parsons don't want to be no damn Eagle fan. He always wanted to be a Dallas Cowboy. So, you guys have a great day, and I will see you at 5 o'clock. Our folks here, as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. And the only thing else I got to say is...